would like to show you a somewhat hidden function in the query tool. And this function is about creating variables, PD families in Atlas, um, based on some coding you have done. So here we have the um, some more classical um, document groups. We have three groups of bias, addictive bias, compensatory bias, male, female, and something I call utilitarian bias. So this study is on imparts buying extreme case of um, <coughs> shopping addiction. So this is not kind of the uh, perfect uh, study to begin with, but I just um, cleaned it up a little bit with my old dissertation. And um, back then um, I was coding differently as I would do it today. So this was also done in version 4, we had ASCII text um, and so on. So actually I prepared a um, code group now here for codes that I want to use in this little um, exercise. Instead of this global filter so we don't see all these um, other codes in here. So on these black codes I'm going to use to create PD families based on the coding I've done here. So whether somebody has actually been telling me about an alternative uh, compensation mechanism of course, if I double click, I see, okay, it was respondent one, a couple of times, respondent two, respondent three, four, five, and so on. Yeah, so, well, you know, I could manually select them now, but I would actually Atlas like to pick that for me. And maybe another one for those people who um, tell me about, or told me about approval seeking, or those who tend there's some depression or mental disorders involved. And then, I show you what the purpose of all of this is and I relate it then to these other codes here in green, reasons for buying or reasons for impulse purchases. So I open the query tool. I only have it open here and I just double click on my first black code here with the asterisk. Um, so based on the response here, I want to create a PD family. So I right click and say create family for found PDs. And I call it people with alternative compensation mechanism. Then I do one on approval seeking. Will seek us and one on depressed respondents, whatever you want to name this. So I put the number of respondents. So we have the um, approval seekers, so we have 19 uh, documents, we have the depressed respondents, only five, and people with alternative compensation, compensation mechanism is actually 32. So I created different groups and now actually I can continue from my analysis and relate um, these groups to some other coding I've done. And if I want to relate a uh, document group um, with some coding I've done, I use the code's primary document table. So I take my press respondent, my approval seekers, and those with the alternative compensation mechanism. And the code is reason for impulse buying or buying. I leave the settings here on the right as they are, I want the quotation count, I want the codes and rows and my groups um, as columns. So I create my report now, I need to confirm this and now um, in the Excel table, that's why I like the codes, codes and the rows because you can just widen the um, column here and 
I can immediately see how the distributors, the, how the codes are distributed amongst the approval seekers, um, the depressed people, and the people with alternative compensation mechanism. So of course, what I need to do here now, because we've seen before the groups have different sizes, I would have to calculate um, relative frequencies. And if you're lucky, we get that as an additional option um, in Atlas soon, so we don't have to do this calculation uh, in Excel all the time. So I'm not going to interpret, it, interpret this table now, this is just kind of to show you um, how you can build your analysis um, step by step and um, also how you can create PD groups which are kind of um, you can think of as variables based on some coding you have done and then how you then relate that to other things in your data.